Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our next installment in our series of, uh, of programs uh, regarding card games that you can play on your own uh, or um, solitaire. Uh, we have a uh, question from one of our members, uh, a Wendy in Wilmette, asking uh, for a recommendation if solitaire card games can be used to reinforce uh, arithmetic skills. And there's more to the letter, of course, but let me jump ahead uh, w with excitement and say, Wendy, uh, absolutely, categorically, affirmatively, uh, yes, uh, card games are a wonderful way to reinforce mathematics. Uh, and I have uh, a game for you. And if you are looking for uh, a game that will stretch your uh, mind and uh, expand your abilities to master four, count them four mathematical operations at once, well then you have come to the right place. And the name of the game is uh, Calculation. This is a solitaire game that I think you're really going to enjoy, so uh, let's dive in. First, before we begin, let us refamiliarize ourselves, of course, uh, with our deck. And we begin with a 52-card uh, uh, standard uh, playing pack, as you uh, see here. Uh, two colors within the pack, uh, red and black. Four suits within the pack. And, of course, there are 13 ranks uh, per suit, ace uh, through king. Now, before you begin... Please take out an ace, a two, a three, a four, these suits don't matter, and set them aside. You will need them for our game. Uh, and then take the balance of the cards, uh, the remaining 48 cards here, and go ahead and shuffle them. Uh, I'm using the uh, riffle uh, technique, and I, of course, uh, recommend shuffling seven times to achieve the mathematically proven uh, maximum uh, amount of randomness. As you see here, we of course have sped it up a bit. So uh, let's now talk about the layout of our game, Solitaire Calculation. It begins with four foundations, and they are as seen here. The one, the two, the three, and the four. Again, the suits don't matter. Uh, four foundations, and we will empty our pack and build upon those foundations. The first foundation we call the plus one foundation, and that is where you will place cards and you will build up on the one in sequence of one. So after the one comes the two, then the three, then the four. Okay? This next foundation is your plus two foundation. Uh, the next card there will be a four and then a six because we are going to build up on that pile uh, in increments of two. That is why it is called the plus two foundation. Next, here's your, uh, you guessed it, your plus three foundation. And we will build up on that foundation in sequence, uh, in increments of three. So after the three is the six and the nine and the twelve. And of course, as you know, the twelfth card is the queen. Next, here is your plus four foundation. And as you can uh, predict, you will build up on the plus four foundation in sequence of four. So you will do the four, the eight, the 12, which is, of course, the queen, and then around the horn back to the three and so on. Uh, you will also create waste piles, cards that do not work at the moment. You can place on the table uh, the bottom cards of the waste piles and your card in hand can be played and built on the foundation and of course the goal is to get through all the cards. Now remember uh, all the cards in this game are worth their rank. Ace is 1, 7 is 7, but Jack is 11, Queen is 12, King is 13. Uh, after the King in, se in sequence go back to the Ace and complete the cycle. Okay? Well why don't we try a game? Let's try a game of calculation and I think you will see how it all comes to play. So we begin with a nice clean playing surface. We've set out our four foundations and you begin dealing from the stock looking for a way to build on those foundations. So right out of the box, uh, that six is three uh, uh, higher than the three. So that goes on the plus three foundation. Now that queen, you may notice that it is third in sequence in our plus four foundation. After the four comes the eight, after the eight comes the queen. So let's save that one for later. Now here is an ace. Can we do anything with the ace? Not really. We're looking for a two, 
uh, or a 4, a 9, or an 8 on our foundations currently. So if you can't play them, then just go ahead and put them on your waste pile, and we will uh, manage them as we peel from our stock. Now, here, here's an opportunity here. Don't cover that queen. Leave that queen exposed so it's available. Oh, here we go. Now, the 2 goes very nicely on our plus 1 foundation. After that 2, of course, will come the 3. Uh, I like to fan out the cards in the waste pile so that you can see everything and make some decisions along the way. Okay, what's next here? Oh, now here's that 8 we talked about. That's perfect for our plus 4 foundation. Uh, what comes after 8? Eight? 8 plus 4 is 12. Yep, that's correct. The 12th card is the queen, so let's play that queen right here. That works perfectly. Now then, this next card, the 4, that is on our plus 2 foundation. 2 plus 2 is 4. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I've paused it here, is to have a look at the foundation of the base cards. Or I should say the base cards of the foundations, the 1, the 2, the 3, and the 4. Leave them exposed because they will help you in adding up what's the next card. So in the first pile, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 is the next card in the sequence. Look at the next pile. 2 plus 4 is 6. So 6 must be our next card in that plus 2 foundation. Look at the third pile. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 is obviously next in our series, so keep that in mind. And then 4 plus 12 is 16. Now there's 13 cards per uh, suit, so you go around the horn back to 3. So we're looking for uh, a 3, a 6, a 9, or a 3. Let's continue. Now, this queen here, you may notice, is fourth in sequence in our next pile. So let's keep that queen available so that we don't have her trapped under other cards. Now this three works very well in our plus one foundation. Let me clean that up there. Uh, we'll continue to play. Can the king help us? Not really, but let's not cover the queen. Let's leave her available. Uh, what about this eight? Well, now the eight is actually fourth in sequence in our plus two foundation. So let's keep that eight handy. Uh, for later. Exactly, so that plus two. Uh, oh, now this is very good. So we have the six that we needed. That was next in sequence, and now that eight that we've held can play on that plus two foundation perfectly. So that goes there. As you can see, each card takes thought because it can go on a number of piles. Now, the five here is fifth in sequence in our plus one foundation. It's not available yet, but let's keep it handy so when that four draws, we'll be ready. Now that ten uh, that's a perfect spot for our plus 2 foundation. 2 plus 8 is 10, so that is what's next in our series. Now look here. After 10 comes 12. Queen is 12. We'll place that queen right there on the plus 2 foundation, and play continues. Now this next card here, 9. Perfect. That is 3 above 6, so that is next in series in our plus 3 foundation. So we'll be looking for a queen next, because a queen is number 12 in the series. Now here's a 6. What can we do with that 6? We need a 4, an ace, a queen, or a 3, so let's just set that 6 aside here, and maybe it'll come into play here shortly. So here's a 9. Uh, I'm not sure that really helps us just yet. We'll go ahead and put that one here for now. And now, oh, now here's that 4 we've been talking about. Perfect for the plus 1 foundation. And then look what cards can follow. Next is the number 5. 5 is next in the series. Do you see what's next? What's next after the 5? Exactly. So the 6 is next. We'll go ahead and place that 6 there, and now we're looking for a 7 in our series. Okay, how does that ace work for us? Doesn't really help us, so we'll just go ahead and set that there. Uh, now wait, the plus 2 foundation. Exactly. That is the 14th card, if you will. 2 plus 12 is 14. 1 plus the king. We're looking for a 3 next on our plus 2 foundation. Okay, now this 2 here. Every card requires some thought here. Uh, well, it can go on our plus three foundation, right? Because that will be next. Now this five here, uh, we'll continue to play. There's that queen. So the queen is next, and then three more above the queen is the two. Now this five will eventually find its way. Do you see what I did wrong here? Anyone catch that mistake? That five should have been played, and I didn't notice it. So let's manage our waste piles here as we correct an error and use the cards in the waste pile. That 5 belongs in our plus 3 foundation. 3 plus 5 is 8, so we can go ahead and place that 8. But look, do you see that jack? That jack is trapped. The jack should be next. So let's go ahead and reverse this, and we can learn a lesson here, uh, as I have. 
We'll pull that eight and that five back out. Go ahead, it's okay. Uh, this is not a competitive round, and I certainly won't inform any of our card society. So we'll go ahead and take that five from the other pile. Then we'll play the eight, which is three more. And then look, now three plus eight is 11. And that jack is now available to be placed on the foundation. That's a much better sequence. That is far better results for us. So let's continue play here. We go through a few cards. Cards continue to add in sequence onto our foundations. Uh, ones that we can't place, put them in your waste pile. Be sure to leave them exposed if you can for play later. You're always thinking a couple steps ahead. Now here's an interesting move. So this, we have to decide which foundation is best for that ace. Could it go on the plus four foundation? Or does it do better on the plus three foundation? The plus three foundation may be better because three plus one is four. We can play that four, but what's four plus three? Ah, we can grab that seven and place that on the plus three foundation as well. So always scan your waste piles, always think ahead on your sequences to get the most cards possible onto those foundations. Uh, and there you have it. So we have those remaining uh, nine cards left that we could not play. So that is our score, a score of nine, which I think actually is very good. Uh, and required a lot of thought, as you can see. So there you have it. That is a solitaire calculation. I hope you enjoyed uh, playing it as much as I did. And to uh, get back to the question here from Wendy and Wilmette, I, I certainly hope you uh, agree that uh, we can reinforce arithmetic skills uh, with solitaire. Uh, the letter goes on to say that it's for her, well, it's for her son who's entering the first grade. Well, um, well, uh, you know, a six-year-old may, may not really be able to manage four arithmetic operations at once. So, well, you, know, you know what, maybe it would give uh, uh, Junior an, an edge and, um, and rise to the uh, top of the class and be, uh, as we say in the card game, uh, the king of the pack. So, uh, Wendy, thanks for writing in. I hope you enjoyed our game of calculation. Hey, everyone else who tuned in, uh, be sure to uh, catch us next time. Thank you.